three. Oh, Jake's ready. <laughs> He's ready to go. <laughs> okay. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jordan Schusterman. That's Jake Mintz. We are the new hosts of the newest podcast on the Ringer Podcast Network, Baseball Barbecue. And today, we are going to talk a little bit more about our favorite brawls in baseball history. On our first podcast, we had Reds pitcher slash puncher Amir Garrett on to talk about this crazy brawl from last season. Talked about this exact picture standing over Chris Archer. There's a picture of me on top of Archer. And, you know, that's a pretty dope picture, man. That's a, that, he was a part of that. He made that look good, but he made me look like a beast. And that inspired us, Jordan, to look at some of the greatest photos from brawl history and break them down. What do we have first? Rugnet Odor v. Jose Bautista, 2016. Okay, Jake, here we go. Where, where better to start than, you know, the punch heard around the world? Here we see Mr. Jose Bautista whose bat flip angered the entire state of Texas and clearly Rugnet Odor just getting absolutely knocked out. What stands out to you here when you first look at this photo? The sunglasses, Jordan, they mm. are levitating in the air. They have just been thrust off of Jose Bautista's face. I believe these are the most famous sunglasses in baseball history, the single most famous pair. Where are they now? I don't know. I think if you zoom in on them, they look broken. Mm already from the punch and just the fact that the the sunglasses and the helmet came flying off of Batista's head just tells you how ferocious of a right hook that was again baseball history is littered with missed punches and really bad form in terms of guys trying to land right hooks and left hooks and uppercuts but this is about as clean of a punch as you're going to see in a baseball fight and the fact that he was able to connect with his cheekbone and not his helmet or his sunglasses so that both could go flying off thanks to the force is a true marvel of fighting science that Rugnet Odor was able to pull off. And just let's, let's just take a look at Bautista's face. Look at the anguish that he has. I mean, this is what it looks like to, to get punched in the face, and yet he's still sort of standing up. I got to give him credit. He didn't just go down, you know? Joey Bat's tough chin. Isn't that a boxing thing? <laughs> He's got a tough chin. This next one from 2018 at Fenway Park. A lot of superstars in this photo. The three mm -hmm. most prominent faces in this photo. You've got Aaron Judge right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Rafi Devers grabbing onto him. And Giancarlo Stanton in the back. None of whom were directly involved in this brawl. The main perpetrator, Joe Kelly, seems to be nuzzling himself <laughs> deep into Aaron Judge's bosom. Yes. Um, for warmth. It does look cold. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't think thing. I don't think John Carlos Stanton is wearing um, <laughs> wearing that for style. Um, <laughs> I imagine that was uh, to keep his his little ears warm. But yes, just some ex incredible uh, expressions. And this judge is just judge in the middle of this. As you mentioned, he he was not a part of this, but somehow here he is in the middle. Um, Tyler Austin, who I think we can see his eyes uh, off to the left here was the original target of the Joe Kelly hit by pitch. And uh, yeah, it's it's just funny to see Judge's face screams, how did I get here? But I'm the biggest well, guy, so I'm supposed to break it up. Oh that's God. The, that's the best part, right? You see Judge in the middle, he's a mountain. And then behind him is another mountain, mm -hmm. Stanton. They're the two tallest position players in baseball. And here they are in the middle of one brawl. If I'm on the Red Sox, I have absolutely no interest in participating in this brawl. I'm out. Rafi Devers, significantly braver than I am. Yeah, and Rafi Devers, who's, you know, one of the youngest players on the rest of he's, look at him, look at him. He's literally hanging on for dear life. Moving forward to a little bit of pitcher on pitcher action. Mm. Oh, yes. Chano Park, Korean baseball icon. Yes. Most wins in MLB history by an Asian born pitcher. And here, this didn't technically count as one of those wins, but it probably should have <laughs> because this is him roundhouse kicking Angels pitcher Tim Belcher in the head. Yeah. And again, you know, brawls usually involve two guys charge each other and punches are attempted to be landed, right? For this audible, for this decision in close quarters, this is not a running start, right? It's not like he was charging out of the mm -hmm. dugout and was like, I'm going for the flying kick because that's a thing that I apparently know how to do or have done before. This is the other thing about this photo. 
and Chan Ho Park kicking. It looks like he's done a flying kick in his lifetime at some point. You are not coming up with this on the fly. You're just not. There's no way that he had not attempted this in some other previous fight. And I think that that the shock of this move can really be understand understood in, in Movon's face. I mean, let's Mo- just look at right. let's just look at Movon's face here. Movon's face is simultaneously saying two things. One, is this crazy MFer actually about to jump kick someone in the head on a baseball field? And it's also saying that guy better not come at me because I am Mo Vaughn and I am a right. house. I just c- cannot, cannot believe that, that that Park was able to execute this. And I also cannot believe th- this is, you know, the Batista Odor fight, obviously, a bunch of people ejected. Back even in the 90s, no ejections. Everyone was fine. Park was ejected for the flying kick. Belcher stayed in the game. He got kicked in the side of the head and pitched like three more innings. And that, that seems like not the best idea concussion protocol didn't really exist back then. Last point, which is that it is just incredible to me that Park kicks him in the head here with his right foot, Mm. not his left foot, his right foot, which is a level of athleticism. I can't do that. You can't do that. Mo Vaughn certainly can't. Doesn't look (laughs) like he can do that. Yes. I mean, this is one of those examples, you know, pitchers are athletes too. All right. That's it from us. Make sure you subscribe to Baseball Barbecue on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, wherever else you get your podcasts, Jordan. Yes, make sure you subscribe. Every week we're coming to you with a new episode of Baseball Barbecue. Can't wait to talk about other baseball things, not just people fighting.